It's Monday again, I hope you all had a good weekend. Let's talk about what's coming up this week. Right, so I do apologise for looking a bit tired today, but I was up late last night, office Christmas party. I didn't actually have one myself, but I went to see it. Oh my God, I look like Rudolph. Okay, so the plot is that Jennifer Anderson, she's the CEO of this company that are thinking of shutting down branches, and there's a branch that her brother runs, and she's thinking of shutting that down, and now her brother decides that he wants to throw this massive Christmas party so that he can get this investor interested in it, and then they can just keep the company, keep going, keep all the staff on, everyone's happy for Christmas. But, as you might have guessed, the party ends up getting a bit out of hand and all goes a bit crazy. Okay, so what did I think of it? It was basically a few guys seen Dirty Grandpa. Because we saw Dirty Grandpa the night before seeing Office Christmas Party. Now, we didn't really like Dirty Grandpa, but felt it was just, it wasn't funny. Well, it was, some bits were funny, but it wasn't crazy funny. We'd seen that the night before, and it was just a case of like, when we saw Office Christmas Party, it was a bit more, <laughs> a bit more enjoyable than watching Dirty Grandpa. And I think for anyone who's, Sin Dirty Grandpa. If you like Dirty Grandpa, I think you're going to like Office Christmas Party. If you don't like Dirty Grandpa, I think you're going to like Office Christmas Party. Because Office Christmas Party it has likeable characters, it has a heart, the, you know, it's really well acted, the performances are great, it's really well written. The, some of the gags are a bit desperate, but not as desperate as Dirty Grandpa. So I think if you're after some kind of like comedy film where you don't have to think much, if you had like a really stressful week and you just don't want to think about anything, Office Christmas Party is probably the one to go and see. Who remembers the film Donnie Darko? I think everyone out there remembers the film Donnie Darko. For those of you who are members of the Donnie Darko cult, what they've done is they've restored Donnie Darko in 4K and they're re-releasing these at BFI cinemas across the nation on December the 17th for about six, seven days because it is the 15th anniversary of the film. If you're interested in seeing something that's 15 years old but it's been restored, then the link is on the screen right now where you can find out more information about that one. Hmm. So on Saturday, apparently, it was the world premiere of uh, Rogue One. Yeah, I wasn't, I didn't see it because you know, I wasn't invited. <laughs> <laughs> so for the rest of us, Star Wars Rogue One comes out this Thursday. Now Rogue One is set before Star Wars A New Hope and it tells the story of the rebellion spies who steal the blueprints of the first ever Death Star. I've really nothing more to say about this except for having a Star Wars film released at Christmas is the best present for all of us. And I got my ticket already for Thursday. I'm going to be there, 3D and IMAX. Get me. And coming out next week is another space film, Passengers. This one stars Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt, who, upon travelling through space to a distant colony planet, wake up 90 years too early due to a malfunction in the spaceship's sleeping chambers. And I hate waking up 90 minutes too early. So with Rogue One out this weekend, Passengers out next week, there's a little bit of a space theme going on. So let's have a space theme question for our competition this week. Now for the competition, as always, we have two tickets to give away, but this time there is some small print. So the small print is because there's a lot of people out there sending crazy amounts of Christmas cards to people, the Christmas post can be a bit delayed. So at the moment, you might not get your tickets until the new year. So this is just a little bit of a warning. If you're looking to win these tickets, we might not be able to get them to see you this side of Christmas. So you might have to wait till January to get them. Just telling you this, so you're not looking to see a film on Christmas. So that's the small print. We can't promise them that they're gonna be there before Christmas or just a bit after Christmas. They might reach you in January though. Just, so that's, just take it on board. Please take it on board. Don't hold it against us if they're late. Thanks. Okay, so the question this week is a space question. And all you do is tweet your answers to the handle that's on the screen now. Here's the question. Who directed the 1968 movie 2001 A Space Odyssey? Who directed that film? Who directed 2001 A Space Odyssey? All you'll do is tweet your answer to the handle that's on the screen now and we'll get those tickets to you when we can. It might not be this side of Christmas, it might be after Christmas, but please enter the competition through the handle on the screen now. It's a shame really, because I was like, I was hoping to say that I could speed those tickets to you at light speed, because the whole space theme, but I can't because of the Christmas post. I'm gonna see you again on Thursday after I've seen Rogue One. I hope you all have a great week and get to see Rogue One yourself.